Tonight, family and friends honoring the life of an innocent bystander shot and killed over the weekend outside a Detroit restaurant. That is our top story at 10 o'clock. Good evening, everybody. I'm Kimberly Gill. And I'm Devin Skillian. The shooting happened Saturday night on West McNichols outside Sloppy Chops in Detroit. A group of individuals shooting at each other when one of those bullets ended up inside, striking and killing Alexandria Johnson. Pamela Osborne was at tonight's vigil, and she join, joins us with more on this. It's just heartbreaking, Pam. Yeah. Devin, Kimberly, it certainly is, and it really wasn't lost on me that tonight, as friends and family of Alex gathered to remember her at the exact same time elsewhere in the city, city leaders came together to discuss this issue of gun violence itself. Alex was loved, she was cherished, and an entire community is hurting now that she's gone. White and silver balloons released into the sky above heavy hearts below. Thank you for today. Thank you for the planners. Thank you for thinking about us, thinking about Alex, because it helps to know that it's not just her family that's going to miss her and love her. Thank you. Thank you so much. In her grief, Charlotte Johnson expressed gratitude for all of the people who turned out to remember her daughter, Alexandria. They say she was in the right place at the right time doing the right thing when the wrong thing broke out. Alex was working her job at the Sloppy Chops restaurant Friday night on West McNichols when a group outside got into a gunfight. A stray bullet made its way into the restaurant, hitting Alex. You could just be at the wrong place at the wrong time and not even make it home at night. And that's just the most out of control thought that you can have leaving out your house to think that you won't make it home. And no one should feel unsafe like that. Ashley Washington is fed up with the violence and heartbroken. It's a loss Rojanique Payne is still trying to process. Alex was the sweetest person that you would ever meet. She was so lovable. Tonight, they extended that love to each other in honor of the goodness and kindness Alex brought out in them and the time she was here. This is what she loved. She loved all her people, all her friends and families to be together. And you could really just tell that Alex had an impact on each and every person who showed up to honor and remember her tonight. Her funeral arrangements are still pending. There are no words on any arrests. Two other people, by the way, were injured in that shooting. They are expected to be okay. Reporting live in Detroit, I'm Pamela Osborne, Local just 4. This makes no sense. All right, Pamela.